the life of wild fish that has been caught ends in intense but relatively short suffering. However, fish that are being farmed can suffer throughout their entire lives. At the Center of Marine Sciences in the University of Algarve, there is an organization dedicated to changing the situation for both wild and farmed fish. So I'm, I'm João Saraiva, I'm the president of the Fichito Group based in Portugal. And we work to improve the welfare of fish, that's our main goal. Sorry. Fish in commercial settings and in, in farming, you know, when it's farmed to be eaten, staying for years in small tanks, usually without any enrichment, with any stimulus at all, just swimming around in circles. What do you feel about that? It's pretty bad. <laughs> Somehow there's a cognitive barrier in people that says, oh no, fish somehow don't deserve this, or it's too hard. This is what we are trying to prove, that it's not too hard and you can do it. Changing and improving the fishing standards with the fishermen, it means changing protocols and changing techniques. It's super hard to uh, even get them open, so realizing, oh, listen, fish is an animal, you know, it can suffer. Just let it go. Um, in fish farming, however, it has changed, and especially because the Portuguese sector is very small, and it cannot compete with the cheap products from Spain and, and Greece. We can't compete with the cheap. Maybe we can upscale and sell it, our products to uh, a higher end of the market. So therefore, they sort of are ready to conceive welfare as a thing. Once you, you have this openness, you can you know, start doing things with, with the farmers and to the industry. Even very simple things that can be put easily in a cage or in a tank can have a huge difference in the lives of fish. We, do, we are starting to use some of these tanks to provide enrichment and the first results are starting to, to come up. There's much more um, neurotransmitters that are associated with good welfare, like uh, serotonin, dopamine. Those are much more produced in the brains of fish that live in enriched environments. So we can actually say with a high degree of certainty that they feel better. Portugal has a historical tradition of producing salt in ponds. Many of these ponds have now been abandoned opening up possibilities for the fish farming industry to cultivate fish in settings other than sea cages. Uh, watch it. And this provides the opportunity at least to, for these fish to experience almost semi-natural conditions. So this is the typical pond. Um, it can be even larger than this, but as you can see, I mean, it has a larger space than, than a cage, for example. And it also relies on water coming in uh, naturally from the lagoon. Uh, this is usually very good quality water, especially here, that is a protected area. And the water brings nutrients that complement the feed that the fish receive. For enri enrichment-wise, you can introduce features in the environment here, either floating islands or features in the substrate that the fish can use. And then we can track them by telemetry uh, data or cameras, so we can actually track the animals in real time, what they're doing. But improving the lives of fish just includes a lot of knowledge. And there's knowledge gaps that are so severe. We don't know anything about some of the species. There are 400 species of fish being farmed. And we know a lot about salmon, a little bit less about trout, and way less about sea bream and, and sea bass. And then all of the rest is just, it's a complete blackout. There is no knowledge, no research, nothing. But there are being farmed. And this, this is a, a major gap that needs to be tackled. Regardless of being a long life or a short life, it's their whole life. So living their whole, whole lives in, you know, in barren environments, in poor conditions, it's, it's terrible anyway. So you are, you are quite uh, happy with this uh, setting? I wouldn't. <laughs> happy. You're never happy. You cannot never be happy. I'm happier. No, I, I do believe that this system is, is, provides better welfare. Moving on into the knowledge of fish 
into their lives and improving their lives in captivity would be my, my, my wish. We strongly believe in science to be the driver of change.